الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الصلاة خير من النوم الصلاة خير من النوم الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله
أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا نعبد لا إله إلا الله أحسن وأعتدل وأقيم وأستغفر الله حول الملائكة سبحانه وتعالى إذا أصابنا بين في صلاة الصف في الصف من صلاة الصلاة دين الدين الإسلامي دين الدولة شو شو الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين فإذا نفخ في الصور نفخة واحدة وحملت الأرض والجبال فدكة دكة واحدة فيومئذ وقعت الواقعة وانشقت السماء فهي يومئذ واهية والملك على أرجائها ويحمل عرش ربك فوقهم يومئذ ثمانية يومئذ تعرضون لا تخفى منكم خافية فأما من أوتي كتابه بيمينه فيقول ها أم قرأوا كتابيه إني ظننت أني ملاق حسابيه فهو في عيشة راضية في جنة عالية كلوا واشربوا هنيئا بما أسلفتم بما أسلفتم في الأيام الخالية الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين 
إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين وأما من أوتي كتابه بشماله فيقول يا ليتني لم أوت كتابيه ولم أدر ما حسابي يا ليتها كانت القاضية ما أغنى عني مالية هلك عني سلطانية خذوه فغلوه ثم الجحيم صلوه ثم في سلسلة ذرعها سبعون ذراعا فاسلكوه إنه كان لا يؤمن بالله العظيم ولا يحب على طعام المسكين فليس له اليوم هاهنا حميم ولا طعام إلا من غسلين لا يأكله إلا الخاطئون الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله الله أكبر الله الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين وبعد ان شاء الله starting tonight um, the tahajjud program will begin Sheikh Abbas has been doing all these khair khatma from the beginning of the month um, he used to be used to do it at 3 a.m. we'll start doing it at 1 a.m. and the tahajjud program itself will begin at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning three sharp inshallah it will run for around an hour to an hour and 15 minutes depending on on the flow of things and then after that there'll be one of two things either uh, suhoor here or suhoor at your home <laughs> depending on on how many people show up and how much they we're not going to have suhoor inside the haram we'll have the suhoor in just in that little carpeted area just outside uh, the corridor Um, it'll be potluck based, so if you hope to have suhoor, bring something with you to help because we don't um, we don't have a lot of food. And make sure that if you bring anything, that you plan to take it back. Do, do not leave anything here in the masjid, please. The, the, the biggest difficulty with uh, suhoor and masajid is people come bring stuff and they walk away, and then we have food that we don't know what to do with that's left in the masajid. Um, so that's inshallah the plan for uh, starting with the light ta'ala tonight. So you're welcome to, uh, to to stay and to join. The masjid will be open from. From Salat al Isha, basically, before Isha, like half an hour, as we until Fajr, inshallah, every um, every morning there'll be a Ibn Allah Ta'ala. For most days, there'll be a Dars. I am on call one or two days, so I may not, uh, I may give you guys a break. <laughs> um, otherwise, inshallah, yeah, that's the plan until the end of the month, inshallah. Continuing, inshallah, with inshallah Ta'ala, with uh, stages of the hereafter. So far, we have accepted our own mortality and we've passed away. We existed in our barzakh for however long Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed us to, and then we, then we died again, or then we disappeared again. And then the second blow of the horn, we, we woke up, watched our bodies be recreated yet again. We stood there watching the chaos around us. Hopefully we were holding on to the family that we had and the loved ones. Hopefully, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us kisa uh, so we're dressed and we're not, we don't stand there uh, exposed on that day as we watch the universe destroyed in front of our own eyes. We hope to be able to stand with some degree of stability as the sun come close to, comes closer to the head of everyone live and as the level of sweat increases and starts to rise hopefully inshallah you're standing in the shade of the of the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after we speak to all these prophets and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I didn't talk about it too much yesterday because it's a very heavy issue to think of alayhi salatu wa salam is the person who, who he's the key yawm al qiyamah Everything stands still until people figure out to go to him. Even though in dunya you probably knew this, it's the, it's the difficulty of the moment that you don't really remember. I mean, there's not going to be anyone there who just says, ah, I, I remember hearing this dars and fajr. You have to go to the Prophet Muhammad first. No, it's just, it's too heavy. What's going on is the magnitude of it is too much. We well, find our way to him, alayhi salatu wasalam, and he goes and he intercedes with this long sujood under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him raise your head and ask and he will give you intercede and your intercession will be accepted and alayhi salatu wasalam will call for his ummah alayhi salatu wasalam hopefully inshallah that call will benefit us yawm al qiyamah if, if you are considered of his ummah which is the, you know, the, the caveat to this uh, yani the, the, the story that if you are considered a part of his ummah alayhi salatu wasalam truly then this His, his, his call out for you, Yawm al Qiyamah, will benefit you. And you will find, yani the, you will find the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala closer to you than others just because he's calling out for it, alayhi salatu wasalam. But then the question is, are, are we considered of his ummah? Did you live a life that allows you to be considered as a part of that? Uh, do you meet the criteria for it or not? And that's something that requires a certain degree of, of, uh, of, uh, of focus and, and maybe some degree of revision to make sure that we are actually going to be included into that call Yawm Al-Qiyamah. When that happens, he, he sets off Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with that a cascade of events that we will start talking about, about inshallah until the end of the month. 
He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَجَاءَ رَبُّكَ وَالْمَلَكُ صَفًّا صَفًّا Probably the most uh, magnificent and glorious event of all is the first thing that occurs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with His throne and all of His malaika come on that day from afar. As we stand there, we see just sufuf, just one line after the other, as if you're seeing an army come towards you. But they're closing up the sky. They're, they're literally clouding the horizon. وَالْمَلَكُ عَلَىٰ أَرْجَائِهَا وَيَحْمِلُ عَرْشَ رَبِّكَ فَوْقَهُمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ ثَمَانِيَةٍ يَوْمَئِذٍ تُعْرَضُونَ لَا تَخْفَى مِنْكُمْ خَافِيَةٍ and as, as you see these lines of malaika come your way, they're, they're, they're closing up every aspect of the horizon in every direction. And you see the throne of God himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala, being carried by eight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's malaika. And don't ask me what we see on top of that throne. Don't ask me when he says, وَجَاءَ رَبُّكَ what that means. Because I don't know. And honestly, no one else does. And no one knows what that means. And no one dares even suggest a meaning to that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a supreme being that is not uh, encompassed by, by time or space. So when he comes, Yawm al-Qiyamah, what that means, I don't know. But we will know that moment that he's there. He says subhanahu wa ta'ala, Yawm yukshafu an saq wa yuda'awna ila sujood. Kashf an saq is a, is a controversial term in the Quran. It means one of two things. Either Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals a part of himself, whatever that means. There's all these, and this is an issue of aqidah, and I don't want to get into it. But if you just take the, you know, you take it with face value, the wording in the Quran, al-kashf an saq in the Arabic language means al-kashfat al-harbu an saqiha. This is a known uh, phrase that is said in, in, in the Arabic language. What it means is that something, kashfat an saqiha means something is, is, uh, is showing its fangs. Meaning something is becoming extremely, extremely serious. Meaning all the difficulties are coming all at once. So Yawm Yukshafu An Saqin can mean either thing. It could be something that is very specific to the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is totally fine to be understood that way. Or things get extremely heated very quickly. And things turn really serious really quickly. Yawm Yukshafu An Saq, meaning we go from one state where we're standing and we're just waiting and it seems to be yeah, I mean, people, people aren't comfortable, but you're, st you're waiting and there's nothing intense really about waiting. Yeah, you're just waiting. It's, it's been a long time. And then the moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَجَاءَ رَبُّكَ وَالْمَلَكُ صَفًّا صَفًّا Things become really serious really quickly. And all of these malaika come and you see the, you know, the glory, you see the mulk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way that you've never seen it before. Meaning you've only heard, but you, you were never able to comprehend it with your uh, with your senses, with your eyes and ears, and you're seeing it and you're experiencing it. And what comes to, to the heart of every person standing there is that they immediately want to prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And people are called to prostrate, to sujood. And all of the people of the mahshar that day make sujood. Except those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not grant the permission to make sujood. يَوْمَ يُكْشَفُ عَنْ سَاقٍ وَيُدَعُونَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَلَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ But a group can't. خَاشِعَةً أَبْصَارُهُمْ When you look at them, their eyes are humiliated. وَقَدْ كَانُوا يُدَعُونَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ وَهُمْ سَالِمُونَ And they were called upon to make sujood in life when they were well, سَالِمُونَ When there was nothing wrong with them. But they, but they didn't. يَقُولُ صَلَى اللَّهِ سَلَّمْ فَيُدْعَ النَّاسُ إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَيَسْجُدُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ لَمْ يَسْجُدَ فِي الدُّنْيَا أَوْ سَجَدَ لِصَنَمْ Everyone will be called upon to make sujood and everyone will make it except those who didn't do it in dunya or did it for some other person or for some other يعني, uh, uh, deity or some other idol. يَذْهَبُ ظَهْرُهُمْ طَبَقًا وَاحِدًا and their, and their backs just turn into one a piece of marble. They can't move it. And on that day, subhanAllah, in dunya, those whose heads are held high are of the, the most integrity of the highest of, um, uh, hold themselves in higher regard. If whoever holds his head higher is, has more izz, has more izz, has more integrity in dunya. Yawm al-Qiyamah, all of these laws are broken. Subhanahu wa ta'ala breaks every law. Every law that you're used to in dunya is destroyed and crumbled into nothing Yawm al-Qiyamah. And this is another law that's going to be broken. The person who is 
the least respected, the person who's most humiliated is the person with his, with his held, high, held high the highest. The person with their head held the highest are the people, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, who are the most humiliated. And the people with the highest degree of integrity and respect, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, are the ones who are able to put their heads down on the ground. Fi Sujudillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just a flip of uh, another kind of twist of the, of the plot and change of the law. At that moment, what you want to do is, you, this is the natural thing. This, uh, this is, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to make sujood, you want to make it very clear who your, whom your loyalty is for and whom you respect and whom you revere subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as the person is stuck there trying to make sujood, you can't make sujood. He feels humiliated because this is the moment to do it. This is when you have to do it, but, you're, but he doesn't benefit from it subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you just, they sit there with their backs upwards. They can't make it, they can't make it to the ground. And they'll be, they'll be asking, why can't we? They were called upon it to do it in dunya. That's when you should have done it. Do it in dunya, you'll do it yawm al-qiyamah. Or else you'll be the only person with your head up, everyone else is making sujood, you can't make it to the ground. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala salama. And at that moment, after, after that occurs, whatever that means and whatever Grace is involved in that moment when we witness God Himself. We witness His throne, we witness His sovereignty, we witness His angels. We witness the creations that were way beyond us, much more powerful. And on that day when the, the books are spread, as the Prophet explained, and from under the throne, you just look up and, and, the, and suddenly. Yani the horizon is just is, is pitch dark, it's just black. It's filled, it's filled with the books. They're just flying into the sky and just coming right down. The Prophet ﷺ was asked by Aisha, do, uh, do we know each other? Yawm al Qiyamah is like, like our, is our conscious levels the same? It seems like we, it seems like when you tell us the stories that we're not the same person. Of course, everyone knows it. إلا في ثلاثة مواضع Three moments لا يعرف أحد أحد No one knows And I'll tell Every time we come by one I'll tell you this is another one One of them قال فإذا عند الكتاب حتى يعلم أيقع في يمينه أم في شماله Once you see the books flying At that moment You don't know anyone anymore you don't recognize people, you don't care, you're not thinking about others, you don't have any empathy, you don't have any interest, you are completely, fully preoccupied by where is this book going? Is it coming in your right hand or in your left? As for the person who gets that book in the right hand, Allahumma yam min kitabana ya Rabbi. For it to come in the right. He will find an easy hisab. And he'll turn back to his family at that moment. See, after a few seconds there of not, of just completely zoning everyone out, you'll turn back to your family in a, in a sense of, of satisfaction, in a sense of happiness. You go back. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ فَيَقُولُ هَا أُمْ اِقْرَأُوا كِتَابِيَ if you recite it with the Madd al Munfasi, it's a four it's a four mad. Um is the way in Arabic to call upon people. Hey. It doesn't have more meaning than the sound it's ma it makes. Look look at my book. Alhamdulillah, it's exactly يعني, he forgave all the stuff that I was afraid of, he removed all the stuff I didn't want. He stamped everything. إِنِّي ظَلَنْتُ أَنِّي مُلَاقٍ حِسَابِيَهِ I knew I was going to be, I prepared for this day. I knew this day was coming. It was what I worked for. It's what my life was aimed at. It was aimed at making sure this day was going to be a good day for me. فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةِ الرَّاضِيَةِ فِي جَنَّةٍ عَالِيَةِ He's in a, فِي عِيشَةِ الرَّاضِيَةِ عِيشَةِ means you know, if you, it's almost a slang Arabic word. Aishtak, your life, your existence, how you live. Aisha, Haya is life. Aishtak, how you're living, how you're 
on that day, you're in a lifestyle that is very satisfactory for you. In a high paradise. Called upon you, Kulu, Washrabu, Hani, eat and drink. May you enjoy every moment of it. Bima Asleftum fil Ayamil Khalia for what you did in the earlier days, for what you put forward for this moment. Yomanadu Kulla Unasim bi Imamihim. Faman Uti a kitabahu bi Aminihi, for Ula Ika Yakara Una kitabahum, Wala Yuvula Muna Fatila. On that day, we call people with their books based on what their gui who guided them or how they were guided. The one with their book in their, in their right hand will read their book, will be reading it out loud. They're, they're proud of it. And everything that they're promised, they will be given. And whoever lived a life of, of blindness, of blindness of the heart, of blindness of the insight. Then Yom Al Qiyamah, they're also A'ma. They're also not going to be. قال ربي لما حشرتني أعمى وقد كنت بصيرة قال كذلك. You didn't, you forgot, and you'll be forgotten. For what will be worse. وأما من أوتي كتابه بشماله فيقول يا ليتني لم أوت كتابيه ولم أدر ما حسابيه. On that day, the person who gets it in the left hand will say, I wish I never, I wish I wasn't qualified for this. I wish I didn't qualify to be a human, and there was no book for me, and I wasn't someone who was accountable for anything. I never, I just didn't care about this stuff. The idea of me being accountable was not a part of my يعني, repertoire. It was not something that I thought of, it's not something I prepared for, not something, something that, I, that I looked forward to. I didn't, it just wasn't something I thought of. Ya laytaha kanat al I wish that time, I wish death was the end of it. I wish it just wiped me out and that was, that was it. I was just like any other, any other animal or living thing that has no need to continue and I just, that was the end of it. Ya laytaha kanat al ma aghna anni maliya. What did my wealth help me? How did my, how did me putting all this wealth together help me? What is it doing for me now? All of my status and my fame and the support I had is everyone, it's all gone. No followers, Yom Al Qiyamah. No one's coming for your autograph. No one cares. We're very insignificant, Yom Al Qiyamah. And if you understand it well, we're pretty insignificant now. And we don't really matter that much to anyone besides ourselves and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only two that truly, truly care about you is you. And Allah. And everyone else is just putting on a show for you. Just for whatever time that they're allowed to. Whatever, for whatever reason. Maybe you're a friend, a neighbor, someone you grew up with, a family member. But it's very limited. And moments will be there, Yawm al Qiyamah, where no one cares. No one's looking. You're completely preoccupied. If a moment like that exists, it really nulls every moment before it and every moment after. If there's a moment, where no one cares about you but you, if there's going to be that moment and there's no way around it, then really everything else becomes completely insignificant and, and, and just lacks, imp lacks importance. If, I, if you were able to tell me, no, no, the people I love we will, al will always be there, yeah, then maybe. Then maybe I can say, all right, fine. Then you need to continue to. But there will be moments where no one cares. It's just you. It's just you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending. Because everything before that moment is, there's hope. See, regardless of what happened in the qabr and what happened afterwards, all the difficulties you're going through yawm al-qiyamah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving sin with it. Meaning it's still, you know, your book is still being adjusted. Standing, the longer you stand yawm al-qiyamah, the more sin is being forgiven. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to, 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 to modify that book. That book, that book. that book is continuously being modified. The moment it comes towards you, it's in your hand, it's not being modified anymore. Now it's in your hand. Now it's, it's, that's what it is. That's the book. Whatever's in it, is in it. As long as you don't have it, it's still being modified. Every difficulty you go through, every hardship, every moment of, of pain, yom al-qiyamah, things are being removed. Things are being forgiven. Meaning you're, you're going through a difficulty, you know, it's, it's, it's equivalent to a punishment. And that's being taken away from whatever may be, may be waiting. 
That's why some people, Yom al go through, through a horrible, yani, b- b- horrible path in their qabr, and a horrible path Yom al and then make it yom, at the end. Because all of that just purified them from every bad thing that they did, and they, they end up not being, go, not going in the wrong direction. But the moment they come, Qalas is in your hand. It's hard. It may change, but now it's difficult. Now it requires, it requires something else now. Now it requires intervention for there to actually, actually be something that will be removed or changed. Some people, Yom Al Qiyamah, will have it behind their backs. You say these people will have it behind their backs because they're, they're, they're a group that, that knew. They knew in dunya the deal. They were educated about this. They knew that if you do well, you get it in your right hand. If you don't do well, it comes in your left. They knew all that. But they didn't, for some reason, they just didn't listen to it. They didn't do it. They didn't follow any of it. They weren't prepared for this day. And then as it happens, they remember. I'm getting it in the left, aren't I? And then they panic. But they don't have any pockets. And there's nowhere for them. There's nothing to chop their own left arm off. They can't do anything. So they panic. And all they can think of is... You know when you're a kid, Ustaz used to say, put your hand out for, no? <laughs> Never got a few masatir on your hand when you were little. <laughs> put your hand out and put your hand back and he pulls it from behind your head. So the human being puts his hand behind his back, hopefully, maybe, maybe somehow the book doesn't, you know, comes to the left, doesn't find his arm and just goes to the ground or something or breaks and goes right behind. فَسَوْفَ يَدْعُوُ ثُبُورًا وَيَصْلَى سَعِيرًا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فِي أَهْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا إِنَّهُ ظَنَّ أَلَّنْ يَحُورٌ بَلَا إِنَّ رَبَّهُ كَانَ بِهِ بَصِيرًا This person will call upon himself يوم القيامة I wish I died I wish, I, I wish I never lived I wish this and I start wishing bad things upon themselves They used to be happy amongst their family and their friends and the people that loved them but they didn't think that they were going to be here at this moment. Every human being will have his, his book right beside his neck. He'll be holding it very close to himself. And you'll find it manshur, meaning it, 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 it talks in, in details, comprehensive. I mean, this person will be told, Iqra kitabak, you read it. You're going to judge yourself, yawm al qiyamah. Kafa bi nafsika al yawma alayka hasiba. You're going to judge yourself. You're going to read this book and you're going to tell God based on what you find in it. Are you worthy of, of, of what's coming next? Are you worthy of Jannah? Read it. You tell me. You tell me. Show me. Read that book and tell me with a clear conscience whether you deserve to go in the right way. Wa wudi al kitab. فَتَرَى الْمُجْرِمِينَ مُشْفِقِينَ مِمَّا فِيهِ وَيَقُولُونَ يَا وَيْلَتَنَا يَقُولُونَ يَا وَيْلَتَنَا مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَحْصَاهَا وَوَجَدُوا مَا عَمِلُوا حَاضِرًا وَلَا يَظْلِمُ رَبُّكَ أَحَدًا And the book is, is set يوم القيامة And the criminals, you look at them, مشفقين, they're, they're, they're in tears and they're saying, what's wrong with this book? What is wrong? It's, it's, it's saying every detail, every small thing, every big thing. And does it not, did it not miss anything? Everything is being calculated. Everything is being talked about. Every thought. Look, it's, it's just, it, was just, it was just a joke. It was just a joke. Why is it here? No, he didn't, the person didn't even hear me make the joke. They never knew about it. You'll find everything there. Everything. And you will not be mistreated. يَوْمَ تَجِدُ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ مُحْضَرًا Everything that you did, you'll find uh, of good deeds, you'll find there. وَمَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ سُوءٍ And as far as the bad deeds, تَوَدُّ لَوْ أَنَّ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَهُ أَمَدًا بَعِيدًا And, and the, all the bad things, you wish that somehow they were documented on some other slate that's far away that you don't have to stand there and, and be associated with. وَيُحَذِّرُكُمُ اللَّهُ نَفْسَهُ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns you from himself, Yawm al-Qiyamah. He, he's warning us, Yawm al-Qiyamah, I'm warning you. Yani, I have nothing but love and rahmah for you, but I'm warning you, Yawm al-Qiyamah. Make sure that there's something in that book. 
He called upon Hada Kitabuna Yantiku Alaikum Bilhak Inna Kunna Nastan Sihuma Kuntum Tamalun. This book will will speak upon you the truth. Indeed, we nastan sikh, indeed we copied and pasted, pasted everything that you did. The Prophet ﷺ said, فَيَذْكُرُ الْإِنسَانُ كُلَّ عَمَلٍ عَمِلَهُ And as the person goes through this book, they'll remember everything that they did. I'll continue, inshaAllah, tomorrow. سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمْ وَبِحَمْدِكَ شَرِنَ اللَّهِ إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْ تَسْتَغْفِرُكَ وَيَتُوبُ إِلَيْكَ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمُ وَبَارَكَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ جَمَعِينَ جَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ خِيرًا بَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِيكُمْ السَّلَامُ عَل